Today is the day we've all been waiting for, Miss Universe Philippines 2024. Good morning everybody, welcome to another vlog. But before we watch Miss Universe 2024, I'm gonna get through the whole day leading up to coronation night. Just waking up right now here in Pasay at the Conrad Hotel, which is next door to Malavasia Arena. Gotta do a few things before I ahead of time to um, get myself to Miss Universe Philippines. That means I'm also going to be grabbing breakfast, redeeming my voucher. I have like my little voucher here, uh, waving it so you can't steal my identity. Um, but I have a voucher here that is like the claim ticket voucher that I'm supposed to take to the box office. But if you're new to my channel, my name is Jerome. Travel vlogger currently here in Manila doing a travel vlog series called Roam Around the World, where you travel the world with me, Jerome. So please consider subscribing. I'm hungry. I just put on some clothes because um, I literally woke up maybe 30 minutes ago and just kind of laying around right be behind here. Um, but let's go grab some breakfast. <laughs> Getting back from breakfast, and now it is time to go redeem my voucher to get my tickets. Let's go. back to the room um, ended up going to Malavasia but before that ended up going to get my ticket all good um, I feel like sometimes things are done here so over complicatedly that <laughs> I don't know I already bought the ticket I have a voucher I have to go physically <coughs> to one of like three different store um, counters to get an actual ticket it just felt like a lot and I did that last year um, and then afterwards went to a coffee shop really cute space got an orange peel latte with like cocoa powder on top then went to the mall got a few things got some socks from later today at Muji um, something from Goldilocks which I'll show in, a, show in a second and then a few different face masks from Round Lab and then it's interesting there is Watson's, which I explained yesterday, that had some of the Korean skincare like Round Lab and Beauty of Joseon. I was looking for this one, which is their Birth Juicing Moisturizer Sunscreen. Really like the sunscreen. They didn't have it at Watson's. Realized that next door, it's like kind of like the Sephora of uh, the Philippines, I would guess, but it's owned by the same people that owns Watson's. And they had all the brands. They had like Korean sk skincare, like Round Lab and Beauty of Joseon. And they had this sunscreen. They also had like uh, Innisfree. They had American brands like Drunk Elephant, Estee Lauder, or is Estee Lauder is more, more like French. But they had uh, NARS, they had uh, La Mer, they had all the stuff. And then went and got my Brasso de Mercedes from Goldilocks. Had some earlier last week or this week from another brand, but I do want to give this one a go. Um, it is like approaching noon. I'm realizing that Miss Universe Philippines isn't until 8, so I have some time. I might take a nap because it's going to be a long day ahead of me. Maybe figure out if I want to get a massage. I haven't figured that either, but stay tuned. Also, I don't think I can bring this camera because I asked and they were like a little bit wishy-washy about it they were saying something like uh you can't bring like in the actual 
arena, the facility, you're not allowed to bring professional cameras, but this is literally like a point and shoot. So I asked and the lady didn't know. And she said, do you just uh, bring it and then ask? And I'm like, no, I want to know now. Like you work for the facility. Like, I don't want to come ask and then say no. And then I have to go all the way back to my hotel room. So she's like, yeah, better not to bring it. And I'm like, oh. anyways, I'll see you guys in a bit back and it is time for me to head to the spa i decided last minute to do a two-hour treatment here at the conrad hotel um, i'm doing reading it from here the kalinga detoxifier it comes with a foot ritual himalayan salt scrub um moringa and turmeric body wrap and a full body and scalp massage really excited um i'm probably gonna be super relaxed especially since like and rested especially since we are going to miss the universe philippines later today so i'm gonna leave my lap camera here and then bring my phone hopefully i can vlog a little bit but it's time to relax <music> Just getting back from the spa, that was oh very relaxing. Um, did a like a scrub and then laid in this heating pad, sweated for 30 minutes, rinsed and did this like 60 minute full body massage. So good. Um, then came back, quickly took <coughs> like a, a shower on my head, um, and then now getting ready for Miss Universe Philippines. So you guys, oh I. I'm kind of shook right now. I just got done getting ready, a little sleigh, but I gotta say something. Um, I was planning on wearing this YSL little clutch, little clutch moment. Opened it up just to put some of my stuff inside, like my wallet that has my ticket stub and then like my lip gloss. What is in here? I looked at this and I was like, wait, it says Miss Universe Philippines, and I was like, wait, I didn't think I put it in there. This is the SM ticket stub from last year's Miss Universe Philippines, so it's kind of creepy that it's like well, a little nostalgic, but wow, I'm here again. Um, let's talk a little bit about my outfit. I got this silk top from Zara a while ago, maybe like four or five years ago. Never wore it because it never fit, but I kind of like the colors with it. It has like the colors of the Philippine flag, but in like desaturated colors, so, like blue, yellow, which is gold, and this red. Um, and then pairing it up with my clutch. Um, and then I'm just wearing black pants. I already know it's going to be super hot <laughs> outside. So I'm gonna hope, I'm gonna try and find like some card stock just to keep in here as a fan. But um, yeah. Let's go to Miss Universe Philippines Coronation Night. I will see you guys back here, but I'm gonna do like a little jump cut to like music, but let's go.
Wow, just getting home from Miss Universe Philippines. I have a lot of content. I'm not sure how little or much I'm gonna be posting, but can we just say, I'm so happy that we have our first black Filipina representing the Philippines at Miss Universe. I, you know, I had posted about Chelsea Manalo Bulacan since February. Not a lot of people were talking about her. I even mentioned it on my Instagram. And then like, after prelims, everyone's just going crazy over her. I'm like, girl, where have you been? I've been talking about this girl since February. But overall, um, the pageant was a really good experience. Good experience. There are a lot of things that I'm just like, ooh. Example, a pageant doesn't need to be five hours, five plus hours long. Like, I think I had mentioned it last year when I was here for MUP 2023, but I got there around 7.30, 7.15. It is now approaching 2 a.m. Um, other things, in between stages of the competition, I can kind of see between, like, um, top 20 results and top 10 evening gown and just like changing into outfits but literally in between each competition like uh from calling top 20 to swimsuit from swimsuit to top 10 call top 10 call to evening gown each segment was like 30 minute gap and i think it is attributed to the amount of sponsors that miss universe philippines has for their organization and granted i feel like Sponsors are a very important role in an organization in order for us to, you know, gain funds. But when you have so much sponsors, like I literally, in for that 30 minutes, each 30 minute block, I probably saw the same commercial that they, that they shoot with each uh, sponsor. I probably saw it at least 10 times. So I think that was, it was just unnecessarily drawn out. I mean, I'm tired. Um, other points, I thought that the swimsuit colors were really amazing. I love that Arbany was there. I love Jeannie Mai. Jeannie Mai is so, so, like, engaging when she is a host. I loved the evening gown portion. A lot of the evening gowns were either white or red. Um, but my favorite evening gowns of the competition, I loved, uh, Zimbales. Her yellow dress with, like, the pointed, um... Kind of shoulder pads that was so chic i really liked atisa from quezon province i loved the little the red uh flowing fabric that came out of her arms i loved chrissy mcgarry from tagig i loved how she had like white fabric but then also like rhinestones and different colors and material of white um fabric it was really nice and then when it came to like top five question i i I'm very surprised that uh, Christy McGarry from Tagig got fourth runner-up. I thought at least she would have gotten top three. I thought Baguio had not the best answer, so I was surprised that she was third runner-up. Um, surprise, I think, of the big surprise is Quezon City not making top two. She got second runner-up, so top three. Um, but I think that Chelsea Manalo from Bulacan had like a very great overall um, performance when it came to catwalk, when it came to evening gown. Loved her evening gown. It was like this white, flowy, kind of ruffly detailed dress. It didn't look like a wedding dress. I know sometimes people hate that. Um, but I thought that Cainta and Bulacan, and, I mean, they, I, I feel like the question and answer portion was a little bit like, too simple and then you got simple responses back um at the very end i'm not sure if i captured this but they gave four other crowns miss eco tourism miss cosmo world miss charm and miss super national philippines um i was so surprised that kainta stacy was not there uh because i think they only allowed up to like 10 people to get one of those four crowns and Cainta wasn't there. Um, really interesting that Quezon Province got Miss Cosmo World Philippines mainly because it's a fairly new-ish pageant and Atisa, she used to be a, I mean, she was 
Miss Intern, Bini Bini Pilipinas International 2018 and got first runner up at Miss International, which is like a major pageant. So it kind of feels a little bit like a downgrade. I'm not sure what they're going to do about that. Um, but I loved seeing Ilo Ilo do pretty well. Overall, I feel like the crowd was really, really, really pro Atisa, uh, pro uh, Chrissy McGarry from The Gig, and pro Alexi Brooks from Ilo Ilo. Um, and I think uh, Kainta had a lot of support too. But uh, yeah, really good. Miss Universe Philippines. Um, I'm tired. I don't know if I'm going to upload my content on Instagram today or next or, or tonight, but I might just get ready for bed, take a shower, and maybe see where I'm at. But I'm going to end the vlog for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, tomorrow, plans are going to be hanging out with my cousin Irene all day. Early in the morning, she's coming here at 9 a.m. because we get free hotel breakfast, and then we're going to go to Tagaytay and take you from there. So. I'll see you guys tomorrow, or today. <laughs> Bye.